Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about associative memory in computer architecture course, computer organization course, computer organization and architecture course. Generally, CPU executes the instruction based on the address. That means, suppose we want to execute a particular instruction that is stored in the memory. First, it can access the address of that instruction. After that, it can execute that instruction. But, whereas in the case of associative memory, CPU executes the instruction based on the content available in the instruction, not by an address. Hence, we can say that associative memory can also be called as content addressable memory that is denoted by CAM. This type of memory can be accessed simultaneously and in parallel based on the content only rather than a specific address or a location. On that associative memory, we have to perform read and write operation. Suppose we want to perform the write operation, that means we want to store a particular word into the memory, we are not assigning any address. First, the memory is capable of finding an unused location in the memory. Once it finds the unused memory location, in that location we have to store that word. We are not assigning any address for that word. In this way, we have to perform the write operation. That means, suppose we want to perform a write operation to store a particular word, we are not assigning any address. First, the memory is capable of finding an unused location in the memory. Once it finds it, in that location, we are storing our word. We are writing that word into the memory. Next, how to perform the read operation? Suppose we want to read a particular information from a given word in the associative memory. The content of the memory word or are a part of the memory word is specified. Okay, that means entire content of the word is uh, read or a, a part of the word is also read. The memory locates all the words in the memory which match the specified content from that word we have to perform the read operation. Okay, detailed we are discussing in this diagram. What is the advantage of associative memory? The advantage of associative memory, it takes very less time to find a word based on the content instead of address. Okay, it takes very less time to find a particular word into the memory based on the content only, not by an address. This is the advantage of associative memory. Next, this is the block diagram of associative memory or a hardware organization of associative memory. Here, it contains two registers. First one is argument register that can be denoted by capital A and second one is key register that can be denoted by capital K. Argument register contains the content. Argument register contains only the content. Whereas 
key register is used for comparison purpose okay key register is used for only performing the comparison operation argument register contains only the content next one this is the associative memory and logic it is like in the form of two dimensional it consists of m number of words each word contains n number of bits for this associative memory array and logic we have to apply the input here we have to perform the read and write operation on the associative memory as explained previously argument register and key register contains n number of bits next this is match register so the match register contains either zero value or a one value the capacity of match register contains m number of bits in which case the match register contains the value 1 and which case the match register contains the value 0 when the content of the argument register is compared with the content of the associative memory when the key register contains only ones then a match is occurred then the m value put it as 1 okay a match is occurred between the content of the argument register and the content of the associative memory when the key register value contains 1 then a match is occurred then m value can be put it as 1 if the key register contains the value 0 we do not perform the comparison between the content of the argument register and the content of the associative memory the match is not performed in that case m value is equal to zero okay suppose multiple number of matches are occurred then the corresponding the corresponding word in the match register can be put it as 1. If the match is not occurred, then the corresponding word in the match register can be put it as 0. In this way, we have to perform the um, matching operation based on the content, not by an address. Okay. Now we can go for one example.